Hello and uh, welcome to this course called Deep Learning for Computer Vision offered as part of NPTEL's initiative. My name is Vineet Balasubramanian. I'm a faculty in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering at Indian Institute of Technology, Hyderabad. Along with me, there will also be other teaching assistants who will help in offering this course whose names and contacts will be shared with you in the next few weeks. So let's start by asking the question, what is this course about? So what is deep learning for computer vision? Or what is computer vision itself? So if you looked at these images on the screen, on the left image, one could ask the question, where is the glue stick? Or can you find the book? What it's, what's its full title? You may take a few seconds, but you'll probably find the glue stick and you'll probably also find that the name of the book is Lord of the Rings. If you looked at the image on the right, you could probably say what is wrong with the image, saying that it violates some natural laws that you know of and this is perhaps artificially created in some way. The question that we want to ask here is can a machine answer the same questions. Can a machine understand images and videos the same way and be able to answer these questions? These are very difficult questions that the human brain makes it ridiculously easy for each of us. So the study and understanding of images and videos is broadly what is known as computer vision. Is it really useful? Obviously there are applications of computer vision all around us going from your Facebook face detection, to autonomous vehicles, to surveillance, to factory automation, to medical imaging, to human computer interaction, and to visual effects. Computer vision is all around us, and industries are big, continuing to use this in very big ways across their product, product lines. Regarding this particular course, let me try to uh, describe this course using a few FAQs or questions that may be relevant to any of you. Firstly, who can take this course? What prerequisites are required? So this course is meant to be an advanced graduate elective or a senior undergraduate level course. And the prerequisites for this course would be that you have a good working knowledge of probability, linear algebra, calculus and related mathematical topics. And the expectation for students taking this course is also that you must have completed a machine learning or deep learning course before. So we're going to assume that you have that knowledge to be able to understand this, the concepts covered in this course. And this course is also positioned as a topic that sits on top of existing uh, machine learning or deep learning courses. The second question is, is this the same as any other deep learning course? For example, there are other deep learning courses on NPTEL and the title of this course is also deep learning for computer vision. So you could ask this question. The answer to this is this course is offered to all students as part of NPTEL as part of a basket of AI electives that comprise various facets of artificial intelligence today. So computer vision forms an important facet of artificial intelligence uh, today and the way this course is structured and designed is that it can sit on top of any other deep learning course that you've already taken. So if you've already taken a deep learning course, uh, there may be some overlap, maybe about 20 to 25% overlap because the concepts are similar, but we will focus completely on how they are adapted and applied to various computer vision applications and be as contemporary and relevant for practice today as possible. If I've already done a deep learning course, will this be of use to me? I partially answered that, answered that question. Yes, if you want to apply deep learning to images and videos, this course will continue to be useful. So it will cover basics of computer vision, talk about building blocks of deep learning for computer vision, as well as talk about the various architectures and models that are used in various aspects of computer vision. Would there be any programming assignments? Yes, there will be programming assignments handed out to you. So the hope is you will get hands-on knowledge along with the theoretical knowledge imparted in the lectures. What can I expect to get at the end of this course? Theory or practice? 
Uh, the way the course is structured is to go from theory to practice. The purpose is to be fundamental so you understand things from their basics. At the same time, we will also go to the point where you look through the code for some common practical applications of computer vision and can get some hands-on knowledge of those settings too. So it would be a mix of the two. And uh, the hope is that if you complete this course, you would be relevant in the industry, but the industry will feel that this is the, you have some skills that may be relevant for applying deep learning to computer vision and related uh, areas. Will I know everything in computer vision at the end of this course? You probably know the answer, no. Computer vision is a very vast field. Although it's a sub-branch of AI, it involves components from neuroscience, psychology, and many other dis perception and many other disciplines that have brought the field together over the last few decades. More importantly, even within computer vision, there are flavors that have emerged over these years. There is a learning-based vision, there is a physics-based vision, there is a geometry-based vision that goes into graphics and augmented reality and things of applications of those kinds. We will focus this course on learning-based vision. So, which itself, there is a wide set of topics to cover. So, you may, we may not go into the depths of physics-based vision or geometry-based vision in this particular course. Having said that, learning-based vision is one of the most relevant topics in the industry in practice today. And hopefully, this course will still be of use to those of you interested in learning this. Uh, in terms of the course topics, we've broken this down into about five segments. The first segment will talk about basics of computer vision, especially traditional computer vision as was done before deep learning came. This will cover image formation, linear filtering, convolution, correlation, talk about edge, edge detection, blob detection, feature detection, describing features, matching features across the images, so on and so forth. For a large part, these were the techniques that were deployed in computer vision applications until deep learning came into the picture over the last decade. The second segment will talk about the building blocks of deep learning for computer vision. So we will review neural networks for those of you who are, uh, who are new to this. The hope is you've already covered a deep learning course in depth, but we will briefly review neural networks and back propagation. We'll talk in detail about convolutional neural networks. We'll talk about various architectures and how you can visualize and understand how they function. The third segment will refer to the many forms and uses of the building blocks that we discussed. We'll talk about various tasks, recognition, verification, retrieval, detection, segmentation, and the different models, architectures that have been used for these different tasks as things stand today. We'll try to be as contemporary as possible in this regard. The fourth segment will move to a higher dimension, which is beyond just the image, which means the spatio-temporal dimension. So you could consider videos. So we'll talk about recurrent neural networks, the development of spatio-temporal models for video understanding, such as action understanding or activity understanding. We will also talk about attention models and visual language tasks, such as image captioning, image, visual dialogue, visual question and answering, so on and so forth. And finally, the last segment will, about, will be about staying contemporary to today's topics. Deep generative models, learning with limited supervision, which will include topics like zero-shot learning, few-shot learning, continual learning, so on and so forth. And we will conclude with very recent trends in this field. So hopefully, this gives you some clarity on the course and this is useful to many of you. Uh, we look forward to having you in the course and welcome again. Thank you.